my previous post, I might as well just go ahead and tell you about some of my other HB encounters. So, uh, one, one of them was when I lived in Paris. Paris, y'all, I was living overseas. I wasn't even in America. I'm living overseas, and this was a few years ago when I lived there. And basically, I was getting my hair done. So I had short hair back then, and I was a professional model. So I'm, I'm walking through the streets of Paris, and I'm looking for a beautician or somebody to do my hair. Now, overseas, they don't have just like black community like we do in America, where we can just go to your local, you know, black hairstylist and they'll do your hair. We don't have, they don't have that over there. So you have to literally find usually someone who knows how to do black hair, but they tend to be at the higher end. Um, very expensive, very wealthy-esque hairstylist. So I'm walking through the streets of France in like the metro and this, this really cute girl, she's just like had the cutest hairstyle. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, where in my broken French, oh my gosh, where'd you get your hair? So she's like, oh, this guy named Eric. So I'm like, oh, gotta find him. So I find him and he's of course in a very wealthy part of France and a very wealthy boutique. So I find him and I go to his boutique and as I'm sitting there, you know, he's very nice and he's very happy to have an American client and he's like smiling. He tells me, you know, just give me a moment. I'll finish my client. And I'll be with you. So I'm like, OK, so I'm sitting down and I'm just kind of waiting. And just like adjacent to me was this woman who was breastfeeding, literally breastfeeding her baby. And I see her, and of course, I don't want to be staring at that. That's, you know, awkward enough. So it's just like, okay, you know, I see her, and I just kind of look away. And next thing you know, I kind of peripherally see her kind of like toss the baby back into the, the, the stroller that it had, like, sitting next to her. She, like, abruptly, like, drops the baby back into the stroller, and then she's, like, patting the, the seat next to her. And she's like, come, come, Hallie Bay, hey. And she's like, and I'm sitting there looking at her like... You know, hi. You know, she's like, come, honey, honey, baby. She's like patting the chair, trying to get me to come sit next to her. And I'm like, <clears throat> what is wrong with this woman? So I just kind of wave her again. And then I hear what she's saying. And she's literally saying, Halle Berry, come sit next. Halle Berry. But she had like broken English. So it's like, hi, hi, Betty. Like it wasn't Halle Berry the way we say it. And I'm like, oh, 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 no, no, oh, no, no, I, no, no, Halle Berry, no, Lori, 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 didn't mean nothing. She was just like, right. And no, oh, nobody ever believed me. So when I would tell people, no, I'm not Halle Berry, they'd be like, oh. right, right. Okay, Lori, Lori, okay, okay. Yeah, one of many stories. <laughs>